Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac, the streak version 3.5. We're on a random run here. And I'm hoping that it works out as well as the last one did. You know, the last one was, uh, it was great. Got Mom's Knife in our second uh, deal with the Devil Room. Obviously, we'll say that we won't do that this time in order to uh, preserve some integrity. First item room, a little bit of a mixed bag. Unicorn Horn is what it is, which is not so good, but um, I like having bombs early on and poison bombs. Probably my second best bomb effect, my second favorite bomb effect, I should say. Uh, hopefully we get another reroll that we can use uh, just in case we need it on the shop, but spoilers, <clears throat> that's definitely not going to happen. But we will go to our curse room. You know, one of the privileges of the first floor is that we're actually allowed to take damage without co totally compromising our deal with the devil options. So hopefully we just don't end up fighting like Headless Horseman or something like that. That will make me regret coming in here so early. Uh, we got flies and we got a fortune teller, which is going to get blown up anyway so we don't, we, we don't lose more health. And we got our red heart health back, and we got the chariot card, which is in its own weird way, a little bit of a unicorn. Uh, are we gonna use this chariot card right away? Probably not. Gonna be fighting Gemini. Um, you know, Gemini not uh, super difficult. I don't necessarily feel the need to um, sacrifice a bomb, even if they are gonna make this fight a lot faster. I don't think it's really worth using a bomb to kill Gemini here. The problem is that, you know, big Gemini is easy. Little Gemini, that's where you get caught. So uh, I'm going to try to stay as far away as I possibly can. He says as he inches his way closer for some reason. And then we just trap a little Gemini in the wall, and this should be over. A little bit of a slower version than normal. It's okay, though. There we go. Okay. Probably will have to pivot in a moment here, but for now, almost. Now, if we just stay far away, we should be able to finish the job. Uh, okay, meet. Great item. Very happy, at least we got some HP on this run, as opposed to the average run. And we'll uh, move on here. With the amount of... Oh, this is perfect. If I get a Spirit Heart in this room, it would be perfect. This is just good. Um, yeah, uh, we, we should be able to snag a deal with the Devil if I don't take damage against the boss. And that could give me uh, a huge benefit. I don't think we can use the Chariot card to steal deals with the Devil. I think that's been since patched out. Unfortunately... Can't let us have any fun, huh? Totally cheating the game. We're gonna be fighting Pestilence. Pestilence, uh, I'm gonna use the Chariot card against Pestilence, not because he's particularly difficult, but because if we don't take damage, we drastically improve our ch I took damage? Fuck. If we didn't take damage, we would've pretty much had a guaranteed deal with the devil. But I fucked it up, and instead, uh, we're gonna get a guaranteed cube of meat. That's a big difference. One of those is a lot worse than the other one. But, so be it. There's a cube of meat in the bank here. Please let me bomb my way into the uh, into this, the item room. I would very much desire to do so. Almost walked into the fire there. This scares me. Justifiably so. A range downgrade, you know, doesn't help me out too much. I don't know why I tested for that before even looking. Ah, you know what? I would have done it anyway, because it looked like there could have been a uh, secret room there. Inevitably there wasn't, but that's okay. And we're probably going to end up walking into some fire if there is any left. Um in order to get myself hurt, so I can go to the boss trap room. I mean, we're not worried about a deal with the devil anymore. Might as well stack up all your, uh, you know, mundane possible upgrades that we can get, huh? And hopefully it doesn't end up being a shot speed upgrade or something like that. But even if it does, at least we, we can take it out of the pool pretty quickly. Key, that's good. Tinted Rock, that's pretty good too. Spirit Heart, not going to pick that up yet, but I like it. Pill, what do you got for me? All right. Rotation's not looking so good so far, so I'm gonna let uh, I'm gonna let Wrath hit me like three times. Um, why? So I can um, guaranteed get to that uh, boss trap room. So we're just gonna wait because I, I want to be careful about this. Uh, I don't want to accidentally find myself losing on the fight because of my idiocy. So here we go, Wrath. It's your time to shine. No, no, don't push the bombs back into yourself, my friend. Common mistake. Keep with me. Please don't hit him. Oh my god, please. I can hurt myself to do this, but I'd rather not waste the bombs. One more. Just one more, buddy. That's it. Just one more hit. It'll be over soon. Oh god, okay. We're safe. Looked a little scary there for a moment, but I made it work. Probably not the way that, you know, ideally you'd want to handle that situation always, but it's the way we did handle it, so be it. So that key is probably going to end up being used for the item room, but we'll see. Maybe we get the cardboard box in our uh, mob trap room, or maybe we get a key from this right here. Alrighty. 
Thank God that wasn't full health. I shouldn't have taken that yet. I'm blowing it up to try to get a key from it, but that didn't work out, obviously. At least we got some money back, so we're definitely going to our item room. Well, not definitely. We could maybe get Pageant Boy in here or something, and that would change me. But no. No such luck. Alright, so at least we're snagging a couple HP. Well, one HP, literally, for being here. I'm happy to do it. You know, it, it helps. It's, it's not going to help as much as a deal with the devil, of course, but it helps more than not going up here. And we can get pretty close back to full health as well. Uh, I really wish that we were able to keep our spirit heart for the next floor. That's like the new strategy for me is like maximizing your chances at getting a deal with the devil. Uh, that's like beyond just not getting hit. That's the best strategy and rerolling shitty items. Um, if you can maximize your deal with the devil chances, that's going to maximize your chances of victory for the most part. You can still get some shit uh, random number generation, but it really, really is a strategy that has worked relatively well for me. So let's try to keep it up, shall we? We should be dead, and we'll get a couple more here. Oh, why would I walk into you twice? Okay, I don't feel good about myself right now. There was some bad cube of meat potential action there, but you're dead any second now. And sweet, okay. We are gonna go to our item room and that'll do it. Uh, no need to look for a second secret room here. Although maybe there is. What do we have, 10 bombs. I'm gonna take the 10 bombs and then I'm gonna look for the second secret room. 10 poison bombs, it's nice, it's not amazing, but it's nice. And maybe we can get all the bomb items in this run. There we go, we found it right away. And it was Maggie's Faith, so I really want a Spirit Heart to back us up, but uh, either way, it's a good trinket to have and well worth the bomb. So down to the next floor then. And of course it's Catacombs now. Um, now that I really, really don't want to take any damage, we'll get the harder version of the floor. I would not get too attached to Maggie's Faith here. This Eternal Heart, I think, is uh, not going to make it for us, in all likelihood. And that's okay. We already have 5 HP. If it manages to survive the floor, then even better, but uh, I think it's pretty unlikely, given the enemies and, and the boss that we may face here. Or, who knows, maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe it'll work out very nicely for us. Seriously. Okay, I like it when you guys stay on the other side of the map. Like, that was my favorite little do si -do we've ever done there. When you can't hit me, but I can hit you. Spirit Heart. Uh, I was really hoping that would be the Hero Font. So the World Card is not awful. The only question is when we use it. And we could use it on this floor, find a secret room. Or we could use it on a, a much later floor, but then we're banking on not getting a better tarot card, which is pretty likely. So I think I'm just going to use it right now. And I'm going to try to work our way over to that secret room. Oh, we're already adjacent to it in one way, and we can bomb our way into the item room as well, so that helps out a lot. I'm really hoping to pick up Spirit Hearts here to back up Maggie's Faith. Or like, um, you know, an item, like raw liver or something on the secret room. But that's just money. But money's good, and uh, that helps us. If we can get a key, we can now visit the shop, which helps out a great deal as well. Because we know that the shop has to be good, and maybe we could buy a Spirit Heart inside of it. Uh, Guardian Angel. Okay, Guardian Angel is good. <clears throat> Probably don't need to tell you the reasons at this point. Um, but yeah, Guardian Angel is is an item that I'm very, very happy to have. So just stay far away. I am still holding out the slightest amount of hope that maybe, just maybe, we can uh, keep our Eternal Heart alive. And if we do that, well then the world's our oyster, isn't it? If we can just get Spirit Hearts to back them up in the future. Um, all the HP we could ever want for potential deals with the Devil. By definition, if we manage to keep this HP up, or this uh, Eternal Heart alive, we should have a pretty good crack at a deal with the Devil too, because obviously we didn't take any Red Heart damage, because we didn't take any damage at all. Oh, thank you. That helps out. Now, I'm glad we got that, because we're on a little bit of a touchy room here. Gotta be very, very cool. One greed head down makes my life a lot easier. And then we have the range necessary to kill this fly. If we walk into the shots, I think we do. Come on. Yeah, one more will do it here, but we've actually got to, you know, get in range. Come on, there we go. I'm just like, this is the most offensive I think I've ever played on Isaac Run. And it's working. We may actually, at this point, I can see ourselves living and keeping this eternal heart. Okay, and then it's probably just like one more hit on this fly. Two hits. Not a big deal, though. Great. Okay, mini boss fight. Or er, uh, mega boss fight, I guess. And it is the perfect situation to drop one of these poison bombs in here. Get two more spirit hearts to back ourselves up. That could protect spirit hearts for, for several floors to come. 
And we were going to use that bomb anyway because, you know, we wanted to hurt this boss. Or, we, you know, alternatively, we were going to use that bomb anyway because we wanted to get the Tinted Rock, so it's not even a waste of a bomb. Okay, that was good, but could have been better. Always difficult to plan where to where and when to put your bombs down on this fight. Keep it up. Just let him drop some uh, of his own body parts down here, and then I think we're going to get deal with the devil. Maggie's faith protected. Maybe he'll even drop a key. Maybe he'll be super nice and say, you played really well on this floor. And I think I did. Well, okay. I'm psyched to have gotten the HP upgrade. Feel like I've been slighted a little bit with no deal with the devil, but there's not that much we can do about it. So we'll be moving on. And I'm really, really hoping that we actually gain access to the uh, shop on this floor, because this could be a very beneficial one. Pretty unlikely that I'm going to end up losing, you know, three spirit hearts here, so I feel pretty good. There's one. Don't get cocky, kid. There's one back. Okay. Doesn't happen that often. The curse room, it's tempting. Gotta admit. We've only got one more room here. I'm really hoping that this has a key. You can't gain a key on the curse room. At least I don't think it's... I mean, I guess if, like, Book of Sin was in there, which it could be, it could work, but I don't know. I really don't. I'm still very pleased with this floor. We got two HP upgrades. I mean, that's basically it. Well, Guardian Angel's actually really great, too, but let's look for a, an eternal heart in our uh, second secret room, if possible. Nothing there. There's a lot of locations. I mean, it's no, you know, subway, but there's a lot of locations. Should be one over here. And there's a lot of possible benefits here, but... I mean, I don't really want an Eternal Heart, but if we get it, that's okay. Okay, this is kind of what I was hoping for as well, because we could earn a key off of this. And I'll pretty much gamble as much as we can, and it's done. <laughs> Again, as always, you know, what's one of my favorite phrases? Don't let anyone say I didn't at least try. Obviously, I'm, I'm giving this the old college try here, and it's just not working out too well. That's okay. Maybe we'll be able to get a key in here somehow that I have not fathomed. Well, that was just a waste of time then. At least we were able to go to the item room. Guardian Angel's a nice get. Two HP and enough spirit hearts to protect um, Maggie's faith in the future. Probably will save us from gambling on blood bags. Whether you want to say save us or prevent us, it's up to you. I'm going to take a second to rehydrate. Let's see what we've got on our next floor. Hopefully a bounty of keys. Because I'm missing out right now. Missing out on compasses, maps. Uh, I could possibly be persuaded to even take something like the blue candle right now. Because our, our damage is fine. Like, we did get meat. That helps. But um, I could always use more. And blue candle would make things really, really easy on me. And we haven't taken it in a while, either. Make things easier on me. And there's our key. If only that had come, like, one room sooner, I would be a little bit more excited. But... Not to look a gift horse in the mouth. It's still, uh, you know, you need keys no matter where you are in the game. I think I've talked about this, like, in a video before, but I think it bears going over because I think about it more often than I probably should. You know that Backstreet Boys song? It's, and then I was talking to Nick about this for sure. It's, I don't care who you are, where you're from, what you did, as long as you love me. Raise your fucking standards, please! I don't care how bad you smell, low self-esteem, might be a criminal as long as... Anyway, like, as Nick pointed out to me, and I'm stealing this, this part wholesale from him, who you are, sure, you don't necessarily have to care about who someone is to, you know, start a relationship with them, it helps, probably. Uh, ghost baby, huh? Well, we'll reroll the shit out of that. Uh, where someone's from, I, you know, I'm with you on that one. That's, that's like, uh, you know, some Romeo and Juliet stuff. Doesn't matter who their family is, right, for the most part, unless they're, like, the Mafia, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't, you don't need to care about that. Sometimes you will, but you don't need to care about it. That's fine. And then, what you did is really actually super important, though. What if you killed somebody? What if you're stealing my identity or something like that? That is the kind of shit that bears to be, you know, mentioned in a situation like this, I feel. So I, I don't know, I, I feel like the Backstreet Boys might have been a little disingenuous, or perhaps they're innocent, and they didn't mean to be, uh, you know, malicious here, but maybe they didn't think it through, is my my thinking on this issue. So, well, we're gonna get our secret room, or curse room, paid for here. Lovely. Um, probably should have gone back to the secret room, but it doesn't really matter. 
Still no more keys. Which I'm not particularly psyched about. Lots of things require keys. Mostly doors, but also, you know, houses to some extent. You know, software. It's a different kind of key, but it's, it's spelled the same. This has been Key Talk with Northern Lion. It's a public access show. It exists thanks to the support of viewers like you. Now, this is our ideal room to drop a key. Because we have a shop right there. We have a reroll that will be ready. It's perfect. Don't fuck with me here, game. And, like, so far this game has really felt like, um, I'm just kind of, like, uh, in limbo, just waiting for the game to give me one special item. That one special item that'll take me over the top. As of right now, we have not found it. And that's okay. That shit happens. Hopefully we do find it, though. There's many different forms that that item could take, of course. I don't want to get into all of them, but you can probably figure some out for yourself. I don't know why Ouija board has been showing up so often lately. Probably just, uh, random. If I had to guess, but, uh, I would like it to show up less often because I don't really like it. Unless I have the ability to fly via something other than Spirit of the Night, which is exceptionally... It's not super unlikely, I guess, but... Probably, like, half, fully half the time I get the ability to fly, it's from Spirit of the Night. Maybe even more, it's just so common. Uh, we're gonna have perfect rerolls lined up here. And, you know, if nothing else on this floor, we protected Maggie's faith, got some more HP. At least that's the way it's looking like it's gonna go. And, um, we might earn a deal with the devil because we haven't taken red heart damage. So I'm gonna drop a bomb down here. Okay, I'm gonna drop a bomb up here. At one point, this unit is going to get hit by this bomb. And that's gonna help me out a great deal. Um, wit uh, re wicked, wretched, etc, etc. Very low HP. That's, that's, that's the benefit there. Oh, fuck. It always happens, like, right around the end of a fight, I get hit and take my deal with the devil chances a little bit lower. Come on. Like, one more hit here will do it. We got hit again at the end, but that might not matter at this point. Our odds have already been, you know, damaged. Come on, work with me. Deal with the devil. Sign me the fuck up. Please. Okay. Squeezy is adequate. It's not HP, but we don't need HP. The tears are nice. Poor Babylon helps not at all. Sister Maggie is bad. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Um, now I wish I'd taken Horror Babylon. Well, uh, at this point, we have to take Guppy's Faith with us. Or, sorry, Guppy's... Uh, paw with us. Guppy's Faith. What was I smoking there? Um, so we're gonna take Guppy's Paw with us. We wanna become Guppy. It's a way out for us. Did we become Guppy on the last run? It was a recent run. I hope it wasn't the last run, but... Um, yeah, it's probably worth more than the D6, even though we're now saddled with a shitty item like Ouija board. You may disagree, and, you know, you're welcome to disagree, but I'm going to give this the old college try uh, the only way I know how. There are other, like, I've been listening because this is what I do with my free time. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of, like, boy band songs from my generation because I know I see people that are my age complaining about One Direction, and I've never heard a One Direction song except for that one that's like, you know, you're beautiful because you don't know you're beautiful, which displays a surprising amount of the predatory nature of those young gentlemen, I think, even though it was inevitably written by probably, like, a 40-year-old, you know, ex, you know, pop star or something like that. It's like preying on people with low self-esteem. You know what makes you beautiful? The fact that you don't know you're beautiful and thus you can be taken advantage of. You're all beautiful out there. Pay attention to that and know that deep within yourselves. But yeah, again, and I, I go on this kind of theme of tangent a lot, but I'm not saying, you know, One Direction is the height of art or anything like that. I'm just saying that anyone that rails against that shit that is like 28, you were listening to dumb, no one was listening to, you know, fucking, you know, John Cage. Like, I, yeah, I was rocking out with Tom Waits at my 8th grade graduation, right? That shit very rarely happens. Um, and there's some, like, really terrible songs, like, especially in Canadian pop music. And uh, I know it, a lot of it is actually... You'd be surprised how many songs that are, are popular in the U.S., or were popular in the U.S., at least when I was of a certain age, originated in Canada. But, um, you know, Steal My Sunshine by Len is, is a Canadian song. A lot of people don't know that. In any case... Um, I was thinking about, uh, Before Four was a, a, a band of, uh, three people, I think two of them are brothers, and, you know, standard, like, Frosted Tips kind of, like, M.O. going on, and, um, they had a song, and it was just about oral sex. It was called Get Down, and nobody realized it somehow until, like, four years later. When I, when I was in high school, I started to hear people be like, yeah, Get Down is, like, totally about oral sex, and, um... 
you know, how does this stuff get played on the air? Maybe that's what they want, is it? Yes. 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 We take it all. And then we pick it up. And then we gained health somehow. And we're guppy. Oh, this is so good. Thank you. The gods clearly know, knew that I was talking about before 4 and wanted to reward me. So that was a ballsy trick that ended up working out very nicely for us. I was so surprised that that red chest actually paid out, because so, it so rarely does. And I'm trying to think about how, um... Oh yeah, okay, so before 4, get down. Anyway, the way that, like, the pre-chorus goes is... I wanna know! I'm not gonna sing the whole thing. Exactly what to do... So you can never get me off of your mind. And then one of the guys pops in in the background and goes like, Tell me what you're thinking. And then... Here, like, put some flavor into these words. The singer goes, Communicate. Probably C-U-M, unicate. And I'll go undercover. Gonna make you come tonight. But then in the background, it's saved and it's wholesome again because the the singer in the background goes over to my house. So it's like I was <laughs> I was in suggesting I was gonna give you the mythical female orgasm. No, I was just saying we'll just we'll go over to my house and we'll watch uh, Hockey Night in Canada or something. People had to know, right? Why didn't they say anything? Why was that played on TV as not a novelty song? I don't get it. It like kids. I was singing along with that when I was like 10. Gonna make you come tonight. I didn't even know how my fucking dick worked. And then, I don't know, is that just like a thing that parents do? Is like, let their kids listen to overtly sexual stuff so they can laugh about it? I don't know, it's fucked up, man. I don't even know where this tangent was heading. What about Liquid Dreams by O-Town? Not Canadian, I'm proud to say. Um, you know, Liquid Dreams. It's a song about wet dreams, but you, they, and they even name like celebrities that they masturbate to in the song. I dream about the girl got a lip like Destiny's Child. I don't know, it's all about body parts. Just another glimpse of what Madonna's wild style with Janet Jackson's smile. Rolling her body like Jennifer, you're the star of my liquid dreams. It's about having a wet dream. Were the, these people that were making tens or hundreds of millions of dollars off of this, and I'm not talking about the, the singers, because, you know, most of them weren't much, you know, older than I was, basically, at the time. But the, like, Lou Pearlman motherfuckers, the 40-year-old, you know, Rest in a mint julep on the, the cusp of their belly where they're at the Kentucky Derby. Those guys must have been laughing their asses off. They're like, every one of these songs is about fucking and nobody knows somehow. Or nobody cares. I don't know. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with songs being about fucking, you know? Like, uh, what's that Liz Fair song, Canary from Exile and Guyville? That's like a really good song about fucking. I apologize about this being a little bit more vulgar here. Um, but nobody seemed to th like, I don't, it's not wholesome. I wouldn't let my eight-year-old listen to, you know, Exile and Guyville. Anyway, long story short, the end. What do we have here? Two of spades. We can actually use that on this floor, so I'm going to. You know, there's a better use for it, uh, waiting until you have a lot of keys, but I'm going to use it on this floor because it allows me to do some good stuff, like actually go to the shop, perhaps, if I get enough money. Eh, and there's another key. Just popped up, finally. So I really, uh, I'm, I'm excited about this run so far. Why am I excited about this run? We're on Necropolis 1. We fought Krampus, so we got Lump of Coal, which is nice. Uh, but we're Guppy, and I didn't expect to become Guppy so quickly, but we did. Sue me. Whenever you complain about becoming Guppy, uh, God kills a kitten. And he does so because it's, uh, it's a little bit of a tall ask to become Guppy most of the time. Luckily, Nine Lives came last, which is... I don't know if that's good or bad, but it, it worked out for us because we managed to use Guppy's paw in an appropriate way. Um, at least. But, yeah. We're also, we have Guppy's paw and Maggie's faith, which means that every single floor we effectively gain three spirit hearts from the future as long as we can keep this internal heart alive, which we certainly will. Uh, so I'm feeling very, very good about our long-term chances from an HP standpoint. We're gonna have permanent Polaroid invincibility at some point. We'll have uh, a space bar item that we can pretty much give away guilt-free for something better or something else later. Come on, secret room. Yeah, okay. And enough money to make the shop worthwhile. Excellent. Now we haven't fought a mini boss, so we might end up fighting a mini boss. The reason I'm saving the stars card, by the way, is we can use this to maybe, you know, after the mom fight, uh, get out, go to the item room, and get a reroll. Maybe we'll save a key in the process. Ride a cowboy. Yeah, you know, this is not surprising. And at this point, what do I want to stack up? I mean, HP is fine, our damage is fine, pretty much everything on this run is fine. I could use, like, a map compass type thing. So either the map or the compass, or the crystal ball, I guess we could make maybe some good use out of. But for now, I'm uh, very excited to be in the position that we're in, which is really good, and Maggie's Faith worked out for us. We went from a pretty 
dangerous situation to a situation that has made this work, and I feel good about our uh, results as a result. Allow me to rehydrate here. Plus, you got to hear my terrible singing voice, and, um, you know, that always makes for a good episode. Especially after someone rips out the audio and then places it against the actual song, and, uh, I can hear how bad my voice truly sounds, because in, like, my singing voice, at least. My speaking voice. I, I love it, you know, how can I complain? Can't get everything you want in life. I, you know, I, I might sound like Barry White until I actually start singing, then I sound a little bit like, um, Katie Lang. More Canadian references, I suppose. Um, please be, uh, okay, Nun's Habit is great. Maybe not for us right now, but we're gonna get it to future-proof ourselves a little bit. We're gonna try not to use the Stars card to go to the item room prior to the boss fight. I'm kind of being a little bit reckless with running into enemies, but, uh, so what, basically, is kind of where I'm coming from on that one? Could get another trinket. There's kind of no point to it. Let's just uh, do some more exploration. Yeah, if we find the item room, we'll save it, because we'll teleport out uh, of our mom fight after it's over, obviously, and then get it. And uh, we'll, we'll check out all these rooms that we get over here, just in case we manage to find something useful. I'm going to go ahead and say that a single penny is probably just about the worst upgrade we could possibly get right now. And we'll just stay back here. Taking more damage than I'm comfortable with, but remember that I am um, earning three Spirit Arts per floor at least. So I don't feel too bad about our chances overall. In fact, I think this is going to shape up to be a very, very easy run. And we might as well uh, finish this off here. You know, we have to think about when we get a deal with the Devil. For the Pact or the Mark, I'd probably take it. For anything else, I've got to think, you know, is this worth losing effectively like 12 Spirit Hearts? The answer to that question is largely probably going to be no. Well, thank you for making this decision easy for me. We'll probably go back and get that money just in case we come across judgments later, but we've got some, you know, backtracking to do on the way. Obviously, we're not going to play the Blood Bank, because the best thing it could possibly give us is something we already are earning by the very thing that we would lose by playing it. But actually, now that... I know I said I wasn't going to go to it. My mistake. Um, now that we have a Demon Judgment, I kind of like the idea of sacrificing three Spirit Hearts, effectively, for, the, for this uh, possibility. Let's see. Could be one of the few opportunities to get something to work out for us. Uh, oh, good. As you can probably guess, this turned out to not be the right decision. Now we can play the Blood Bank, though. And maybe, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time here. But maybe we can make this work for ourselves quickly. At least we get some money out of it, which is effectively totally worthless for me. But whatever. Sure. There we go. Disappointing. Where is our boss room? Maybe it was in that, uh, that little nub that I passed by trying to get to the exit. Should stop rushing. Like, that, that can only ever end in tears. Wow, it, it was by that one that was, like, very distant. Weirdly enough... Not gonna look for the secret room on this floor. I would like to save bombs uh, to have them for Mom's heart, which is something we should start thinking about. Same with keys for uh, the uh, the chests. You know, we only need four, but we haven't really been rolling in keys over the course of this entire run anyway, so... Smart to stay uh, cautious here. And... Yeah, well, there's a little bit more... Um, it's like an iceberg. Like, it looked like there was only a little bit over here, but uh, there's actually an awful lot of uh, room left over. And with you breaking apart, that's great for business. I, I'm not picking up the single pennies just on principle now. I'm just mad. All right, Mom. Let's do this shit. Give me one of those rare Mom deals with the devil that only happen in Fables. We're about 40% of the way through the fight so far, I'd say. Uh, the more the merrier when it comes to enemies, doesn't really bother me, we'll be able to take them out super easily. We don't even need to pay attention, because our fly army will, will take them out for us. And we're about 85, 90% of the way through the fight now. Only gets easier from here. There we go. We get an HP upgrade, which I love. We will obviously take the Polaroid with us. And we're going to teleport out and see if we get, you know, exceptionally lucky. Let's be honest. It will have to be very, very lucky. Uh, but either way, our Polaroid invincibility is going to start on the... Well, you know what? I can uh, start it right now. But it's 100% going to start on the next floor. Sorry, just doing a little stretch here. That It's really, really hot. It's taking it out of me. I hate that you can't um, talk about how hot it is wherever you are without people being like, well, it's hotter where I live. Okay, like, you win, all right? But still, it's annoying. Like, it's it's only maybe 28, 30 degrees Celsius in Vancouver, and inevitably a lot of people out there, they live in, like, Phoenix or, you know, anywhere, <laughs> really. You could be like, oh, well, it's like 35 here. 
Okay, that's- you have my sympathy. Why can't you give me your sympathy and just say, man, it's hot? Instead, it becomes like this dick measuring contest of, oh, where I live is worse than you, where you live. Get over it, then. Move or something. It sounds like you're unhappy. That's the only good thing about the place where you live is that it's shitty weather and then you can brag about living in shitty weather. Then you gotta, you know, work with you. something else. You gotta get out of that town, man. You're gonna die there. You're gonna spend the rest of your life in a town with population 100 people who will never let you complain about your weather ever because it sucks here. That's not okay, alright? People want to complain about the weather. Let them complain. Or just walk away. Don't complain about the weather and be like, your complaining's invalid because my complaining's superior. There's a bunch of freaking toilet munchers here. Not that there's anything wrong with that if both the toilet and the muncher are consenting. I'm just saying. Uh, take a little extra HP here. This is the kind of rambling we get to when we have a uh, relatively easy run. Still hoping for a deal with the devil. That's the entire reason I haven't used Guppy's Paw yet. That and I don't need permanent Polaroid invincibility right now. And you know what? Ouija board actually has panned out for us. I said, uh, you know, how often do I get the ability to fly when I don't have uh, spectral, te spectral tears already via Spirit of the Night? Well, this time, weirdly enough. Come on, Judgment. Be better than Demon Judgment. I believe you can. Well, Lemon Mishap might actually be better than Guppy's Paw, weirdly enough. Uh, because this might be the last time that we're going to get HP over the course of the game. But, I don't know. Is the, uh, let's take Lemon Mishap. It'll be fun. We'll just see if we get a deal with the devil here first and then... Uh, you know, cash out of Guppy's Paw, which I'm very glad that we took at this point. Uh, certainly helped us out a great deal. So we'll pick up this, and we do get a deal with the devil. And there is the nail. The nail is a lot better. But I'm gonna... Oh, I can't reroll any of them. Well, shit, dude. I have to take the nail, then. Absolutely. Mostly because it'll give me my spirit arts back that I'm gonna trade for here. Uh, so, yeah. It'll, it'll give me more than six spirit arts over the course of the rest of the game, plus the damage bonus. I would be stupid to go with Lemon Mishap. It would be fun, but it would be also awful, so so be it. I was really hoping it would just be a Pact or Mark or something in there, but, you know, whatever. It hurts, but that's okay. We'll move on. Could be worth uh, a Spirit Heart to check out our Curse Room. Could not be as well, but it could be. Let's not take damage, because there's no way I'm generating Spirit Hearts anymore, but let's see. Uh, oh, okay, Guppy's Tail and two Spirit Hearts. It was definitely worth it. We got the full Guppy going on now. All four items. I still think you should get some kind of bonus for that. All right, we have Nun's Habit, too. I totally forgot. Yeah, Nun's Habit the Nail is a pretty sweet combo. Uh, I fucked up. You're supposed to use, um, obviously, you're supposed to use the Nail uh, on the next room, not after you finish a room, because it gives you a damage bonus. Uh, so I'll, I'll try to do that in the future. Just bad habit dead. We will move on. Could get some fun out of playing that uh, uh, Blood Bank with, you know, permanent Polaroid invincibility and uh, Guppies. Uh, not Guppies. Um, the the Nail plus Nun's Habit, but we're not going to really benefit from that, and, you know, we don't really want to earn any HP, so uh, I think, you know, the best possible outcome is actually the worst possible outcome there. Mom's Heart Fight should be super simple. In a weird way, the better you are at by the mom's heart boss fight, I think the more likely you should use bombs, because your damage is such that you really, like, are gonna use less bombs as a result. I really do not want Cat and Nine Tails. Uh, okay, I really thought I had the room generation sorted out there, but no such luck. Flies are doing an awful lot of damage. Apart from that, we haven't really had much in the way of damage bonuses, except for, um... Who was it? It was, uh... Oh, it was Meat from the very first floor. But it's not really hindering us because our rate of fire is so crazy. What do we do with this judgment? Like, that's what I was thinking. I think maybe we'll... Should have used that in the next room. I think maybe we'll use judgment on the shoal room? On the shoal room. I'll be playing my card under the shoal room. Uh, sincerely, though, will that not give me the best chance possible of getting a deal with the devil? Hopefully it's not a demon judgment. But if it is, it effectively only costs us half a spirit heart per play. And we get a lot of plays. Um, it, it costs us half a spirit heart per time that it costs us. I know that sounds like it doesn't make any sense, but, you know. We'll play, it'll take a full heart. We'll get uh, a lot of plays out of that full heart. And then... I still don't want to open that golden chest. And then, um... We'll play again, and then the nail will get fully charged. So we'll get a heart back. So we'll give two hearts, get a lot of plays, get one heart back. Give two hearts, get a lot of plays, get one heart back. It's a very weird uh, setup. But what I'm saying is that even if it's a demon judgment, I could probably be convinced to give it a give it a shot. 
Anyway, this is a big floor. We've got to be getting pretty close to the end, though. I don't think it's going to be a big problem for us. And good. Are we seriously not at the end yet? I'm not even going to take that pill because I don't want it to be a health upgrade. Well, unless this judgment takes like 25 cents, I'm not going to be too worried about it. Okay, there's a key. And... There's a bomb. You probably don't need this narrative aspect, but that's okay. There's a penny going into Judgment's uh, penny slot. Mom's purse. If only you could have done this back when I had Maggie's faith and I could have kept Guppy's paw. Oh well, though. Um, we're still in a great situation. 35 bombs now. We're definitely going to use our poison bombs here. Really helps out for crowd control, and we're doing so much damage that it probably means we only have to use two or three bombs to actually finish this fight. Uh, Monstro should be dead any second now, of course. Good stuff. There's our third bomb. I think we may end up having to use, like, five, actually. Maybe only four, now that I look at it. Yeah, it should only be four. All right, stand back. And let's try this Judgment Shoal thing. I don't know. I might end up being a genius. I might end up being a total goat. We'll see. There's a rare exception to using the nail card there properly, I think. Um, so let's we go in here. Hopefully this doesn't mean that I can't go to the cathedral in the future. Like on this run. And it gave me an HP upgrade, which I almost picked up. That would have been bad. And we've learned that uh, that judgment does not pay out with the deal with the devil on the shoal room. Good information to have, I suppose. Just to know for the future. I also don't think it works on curse rooms. I think it just gives you its normal pool on curse rooms. Could be mistaken, though. I really thought you were dead, so kudos to you, I guess. It wasn't worth it! It was worth it. Barely. <laughs> that was scary. And this is now using the nail properly. Yep, that was gonna happen. We have a lot of spirit arts backing ourselves up, and we're getting fairly close to the end of the game, so I'm not sweating the HP loss too much, but I would love to not lose as much as I am, as you might expect. But Nun's Habit helps out so much that I don't really mind it that much. Good tarot card here would make a world of difference. Uh, Bob's Rotten Head. That's, uh, you know, kind of similar, except awful. Maybe we secret room access? Possibly, if we get super lucky. Nope. Alright, moving on then. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much a dead... Well, it's not a dead end. I mean, it is a dead end, but all of life's a dead end if you, uh, you know, want to get super cynical about it. There is a room of importance at the end here. I'm just not going to make use of it because I don't want to lose HP and I'm not picking up what it's putting down. You're not dead yet. Okay, now you're dead. Where the heck is our boss room? The one thing we lacked on this run... This run, uh, map and compass. Uh, so we'll nail. It does make us a little slower, I think, though. Uh, but the damage probably compensates for it. I think so. Should be a very easy uh, Blue Baby and Isaac fight. Isaac first, of course. Uh, we're going to have tons of permanent Polaroid invincibility. We're going to take damage. That's going to be largely unavoidable. But we do have Guardian Angel and a second level cube of meat. Oh, nice. Uh, but yeah, the permanent Polaroid invincibility and the amount of damage that we're going to do are going to compensate for all the damage that we're going to take, for sure. So I'm not too concerned about this. And when we do take damage, it's a little bit of a godsend, because then I can walk up here. We don't have Lump of Coal, I think. I can't remember. I don't think we got Lump of Coal. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm going to shoot in some poison bombs. There's our little damage bonus here. That's going to help us out a little bit. We essentially have both the wafer and a little bit of a Book of Belial type thing going on in this nail here. Normally, I don't like the nail that much, uh, unless I don't have any other spacebar item, or I really, really need HP. But uh, it's very nice to be in a situation where um, it helps you out like this with Nun's Habit, so I'm psyched to have it now. Probably should have saved this for the next room. It's okay, though. Good. Down to the next floor. Six H or six keys left. More than six HP, I hope. Bean, Luckfoots, Fly Love. Okay, so Fly Love. I don't know if that or not Fly Love. Mulligan. I don't know if that actually stacks with the Guppy effect, but if it does, we're in the money right now, obviously, uh, and we'll take Lucky Foot as well. So we're in a super great position right now. Uh, not all of those items were winners, but Sacrificial Dagger is really, really nice for that, uh, you know, permanent Polaroid invincibility offensive damage from the familiars. And if Mulligan actually does work uh, in conjunction with uh, Guppy, it's kind of hard to tell uh, from this right now, uh, then that is a huge bonus to the amount of flies we produce. Not like we were really, you know, risking a loss anyway, but this makes a win basically all but guaranteed. It, it, not even all but guaranteed, it's pretty much guaranteed, like, literally. So we want to kill Super Sloth last. Might end up 
Hey, we found our second secret room by accident. Might end up uh, costing me more damage than it saves me, but we'll see. The only thing I could really use right now is a tarot card anyway, so let's see what you got, Super Sloth. Don't shoot any bombs at me. Thank you. Tarot card is High Priestess. Very good. And we got the Inner Eye. Triple shot. This has worked out very well for me so far. I don't give a shit about that fortune teller. Um, yeah, I could have easily taken a lot more damage there, so I don't feel too bad about that. And weirdly enough, we keep finding ourselves getting stronger somehow. The bean is actually not so terrible, I guess, in this situation, but because we have the nun's habit, there's no way we could possibly justify taking it. So just keep it up here. Oh, not very good. It's okay, because we can now go stand in here, and uh, we've totally fucked up the placement of death, so we probably can't even do damage to him anymore. That's lovely. I th that one came from off the screen. Okay, um... Alright. Yeah, there's some bomb flies. You're not wrong about that. So I'm gonna have to use spider mod to like get myself out of this room. Because you can't bomb your way out of these rooms. No secret room. Yeah, so alright. Cheats. Teleport to room. It's the same room I'm already in. Alright. That was fucked up. It happens from time to time. I don't like it when it happens, but it happens. I'm not gonna be too salty about it. I'm just gonna take damage and, and fucking crank on this guy. Let's get this done. Make sure that no uh, bullshit kind of like scripting issue happens again or like I push you through a wall or something. The flies are so worthless for this part, but it's okay. Our damage is good enough on its own. Uh, thank God for spider mod, by the way. Probably saves me like once every 20 runs, I have to use something like that in spider mod to save my life. Uh, sometimes people get mad about it, like when I, you know, use spider mod to make it so I give myself bombs first to, uh, counteract the effects of the tick. People get real salty about that sometimes, but apart from that, pretty good. Alright, Judgment, you've earned yourself a try here at least. Key, well thank you, don't mind if I do. Give me a speed upgrade, which I could actually use, we're a little bit slow. Like in many different respects, but, uh, okay, HP, which again, I, force of habit, almost took it, it's a bad habit to, to just not think about items and just pick them up and be excited, it's like, you know, you open a package on Christmas morning and you're like, oh dad, thanks for the envelope, and he's not, that's not, you know, an envelope, that's, you just ripped up my paycheck or something like that, I don't know, it's a thin analogy at best, you get the gist of it, potentially, though, it's also potential that you, uh, didn't understand that analogy at all, because it was uh, fucking ridiculous. Anyway, more enemies dead means we continue our uh, little, you know, purgatorious song and dance here. Come on, kill it! Yeah, okay. So all you gotta do is trap it for a second, and then we get enough flies to really lay the, uh, the danger on here. There we go. Mr. Mega's awesome. It's uh, one of my favorite items. Lately, at least, it's it's become more popular for me. And we've got almost all the bomb items now, too, don't we? We have Poison Homing, Mr. Mega. Poison Homing, Mr. Mega? I think we do. And this is another dead end. At least this is like the last cardinal direction that has a dead end. I don't even know who we killed last here. We might as well kill uh, Wrath last, theoretically, although he's tanking shots for greed now. Uh, yeah, we killed him last. So then we can maybe get another bomb item. No, just three live bombs. Very nice of you. Okay, well, we could maybe get a, a bomb item here. Consumable bombs, I don't really care about, but if we could somehow get, like, pyro, I don't, don't know if that's even possible. Maybe we don't have homing bombs either, so we could get brother, uh, or, yeah, Bobby bob -omb. Or we could just get a live bomb, that's too, that's cool too, I should say. Thank God for Guardian Angel. Oh, never mind. You fucked me, Guardian Angel. At this point, I kind of just want the run to be over because I've been you know, getting hard over this uh, blue baby fight for so long. But it just never seems to end, does it? Break you, break you, and we're good. Let's just keep on moving. There we go, freaking finally. And you know what, I'm, I've had enough of your shit. Run into me, I don't care. Do it, you too, run into me. This is the best, most efficient way for me to take out enemies. Just bludgeon them with my face. Oh snap, okay, that's very, very good. Nail card. High, or nail use. High Priestess. Don't die of heat stroke, please. Oh man, this is pretty strong. 
one permanent Polaroid invincibility basically enough to get this done. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.